remember guys we talked about debtors before i think by now can you all hear me guys can everyone hear me let me see because it seems as if not everyone can Yvonne can hear me yes kelly shanali please just check if you can hear us or maybe lock off and come back to the platform thank you so much yes yes thank you so much please just double check Shanali. Uh, yeah so shanali will come back so thank you very much guys for that so i was saying we have talked about this before guys we talked about the debtors and remember uh, when we said debtors what do we mean by debtors we mean is this will owe us they uh, we sold goods on credit to them okay i'm just saying in simple terms so this is what we have uh, we know about the debtors the reason why we say we have got debtors it means we sold goods on credit to them okay so if you are rendering a service it means you rendered a service on credit to them okay remember debtors generally we only record the sales of goods so you need to understand that okay as some books call it account receivables guys if you see the word account receivables just know that this is the same as our debtors so don't be confused okay so make sure that you familiarize yourself with this okay so if you remember very well before we dealt with what we call let me just write it here on top so that i can explain better to you uh, we talked about remember something called general ledger okay so i think you all know what is a general ledger okay a general ledger remember is an account that has got two sides uh, if you remember very well we used to have something like this you can see here and then the other side is david and the other side is credit i think you still remember this so let's say for example i open data control okay so as you can see here i've got data control here on the screen so it means we have got a debit and a credit. So let's say, for example, you know that if you owe varsity college uh, school fees, uh, you know that uh, there's an account called debtors control for varsity college. So let's say all the students owe varsity college one million. I'm just saying one million. That's the balance. Yeah, let's say. Everyone owes Varsity College one million. Can you see the balances on the debit side? You're not surprised because the debtors control is an asset and all the assets increase on the debit side. So Varsity College is owed one million by all the students or by, the, or by all the debtors. This is called general ledger. Why do we call this general ledger? It's because we just show the balance for everyone. We don't have to show the balance for Sylvester, balance for Potentia, we don't have to show the balance for an individual uh, data. Are you okay? So that's why we always call this a general ledger. Welcome. <laughs> no problem. Yes. And then I think you are still familiar with this kind of uh, an account. Let me know if you don't understand the general ledger. I I'm going somewhere. I'm trying to explain something. Okay. Any question? So I think you still remember our general ledger. In other words, you've got a T account, it's just got a debit and a credit. And again, you must know where to put the balance. Is everyone with me so far? Can I see yes, no, yes, no? Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, no problem. Now. This is called general ledger, like I said, because we just say all the debtors owe me how much? One million. But I need to go and open an account for each and every debtor. Okay. For example, let's say, for example, I've got a debtor by the name of Kelly. Let's say Kelly is one of my debtors. Can you see now? So it means now I need to open an account for Kelly. So the minute I open the account for Kelly, it means I want to know how much does Kelly owes me out of one million. So that ledger now becomes what? Debtors ledger. So debtors ledger is where we open our customers individually using their names. Is everyone following? 
Can you see the difference between the two? Any questions? So as you can see the difference is the fact that here we show the balance for everyone. So all the letters together, irrespective of their names, they are recorded in the general ledger. But the minute I break down this one million, now I open Kelly, I open Shanelli, I open Tensia, Kutuano, Ifan, etc. It means that ledger is called Data's Ledger. So that is the topic for today. Are we together now? Yes. Remember you, uh, uh, even those who are here, they, they are very important. So I need to ask everyone, okay? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Now, so I'm just going to take random quest, uh, example before we can go to an exercise, okay? So I do have an exercise for you. So I'm going to go through that. I know that we've got six hours today, so we've got a lot of time to go through that. Okay, so guys, I'm going to erase the whole thing and I'm going to make sure that I go through this slowly. Okay, you know the, the disadvantage of the VC land. If you erase, it, it takes the whole thing. You can't erase one thing, unless if you cancel, okay? So I'm just going to erase like this, and then I'm going to come up with some transactions, okay? Let's say um, on the first, or on the second, uh, we sold goods on credit. For five thousand. Okay, so I'm just taking as it comes. Okay, so this is the transition that I want us to analyze, guys. So we sold goods on credit, okay, for six thousand. But I think by now you know that this is a transaction, okay. So we are selling goods on credit at the end of the day, okay. Now. Uh, let's say, okay, let me write here, uh, because I need to be specific here. Let me write, insert something. Uh, let me still sell to Kelly. Let me use Kelly for now. So we used, uh, we sold goods on credit to Kelly for how much? For uh, for 5,000, okay? And let's say we are the month of September. This is our month, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come here. Remember, in the exam, they'll give you the format. They'll write everything for you. What you need to do is just for you to... Uh, record the information. So I'm going to have Kelly as my data. Can you see? They will give you a format like this. Even if you can go and check your exam, uh, they give you this format and then they give you the name of the data. So you just have to know how to record that. For example, if let's say, for example, I'm dealing with September. So meaning, if, for example, I've got a balance for Kelly. Let's say at the beginning of the month, Kelly was owing me something like 10,000. So I'm going to say the 1st of September 2020. You can see, that's the first thing. And only if I have the balance. Remember, they will give you the balance. Remember, I'm still going to take an exercise with you. I'm going to say balance. Can you see now? And I'm going to say balance brought down. Okay. So let's say Kelly, let's come up with any balance. Let's say Kelly, before we sold to her at the beginning, she owed us. 20,000. So the balance will be 20,000. Remember, the balance will be given to you. That's the first way. This is how to show the balance for Kelly. Remember, I just came up with the amount. Okay. In the exam or test, tell you that the balance at the beginning for Kelly is how much? It's 20,000. So, like I said, let's assume that these books are for September. Uh, September 2020. Okay. So let's assume that these books are for September. So at the beginning of September, Kelly owed me 20,000. Can you see now? So this is how to put the balance, if they gave you the balance. But if there is no balance, please do not worry. Don't put balance zero. Yes, you can put it, but it's just a waste of ink. Okay, so make sure that you just leave it if there's no balance. So any question about recording the balance, the way to record the balance? Don't worry about the amount. The amount will be given to you. I want you to tell me if you do understand the fact that I put the balance here. Are you okay? So, is everyone on the same page? Can I see yes, no, yes, no, yes, no? Come on, find a new. Good, good. Yes. Please try to maybe have a space in between. Eh? Uh, I need to kind of sit next to someone. <laughs> 
Yes, we need to do that. I'm the only one who's allowed to. My brother, I think you must just go a little bit further so so that yeah, you can yeah, you can even see. You know, it's okay. It's okay. Okay, guys, sorry. Uh, by the way, I mean I'm live in class, so when I talk to my people here, so don't worry. So any questions about this? Welcome, guys. Let me just know your names first. Maybe I know your names and then and my brother. Oh, Katu, thank you. Uh, welcome, welcome. Uh, my brother. Okay. Okay, thank you. And okay, and thank you, my sister. Miriam. Okay, now I know. Eh? Those people are not here, guys. Yeah, unfortunately for you, you can't see me. Okay, but I see you. Okay, any question about this, guys? If you understand, let me see. Yes, no. Yes, no. Yes, no. Yes, no. By the way, I gave you these slides, guys. Now you can download them if you want. No, you can focus here. Obviously, if it makes sense. Okay, if it makes sense. I normally use book at home to refer. Can you see? So like for now, let's just focus on the slides. Okay. Please stop me if it doesn't make sense. Okay, now after putting the balance, oh, I can see that there's no yes, there's no no. It means I'll just say yes on your behalf. No one is saying yes. I said yes for everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Now. Remember, I'm just coming up with this transaction, so I'm still going to take an exercise. Now on the second tier, let's go back to the transaction. We sold goods on credit to Kelly. Can you see now? Because I'm opening Kelly's account, I need to go back and say, okay, on the 2nd of September. Like this kind of question, very easy. Can you see? I say on the 2nd of September because... I've got a transaction on the second. Remember, I just came up with this transaction. So we sold to Kelly. But as you can see here, this column is called document number. But sometimes in the exam, they will try maybe to confuse you. They call it details. You need to be careful because the minute they say details, you can make a mistake of recording wrong information here. So here is where we record the source documents. You remember the source document we had before? When, when we go through the source documents, when you buy something, they give you proof. Like when you go to the canteen, they give you that slip. You go and uh, pay your account somewhere, they give you the receipts. So that's the source document. So we need to record the source document here. Okay. So the fact is, when you sell goods on credit to a customer, what source document do you think I need to issue to the customer, to the data? <laughs> I'm selling goods on credit to the customers. I need a proof, a source document. So what is that source document? Okay. That is an account. You were correct if it was an account. So remember, here we don't record the accounts themselves. We record the source document, the proof. Is it a check counterfoil? Is it a receipt? Is it? It's where we record those things here, under this channel, under this kind of books. Okay. So don't record the accounts. Remember when we did the general ledger accounts? We said the two accounts is a bank and debtors. Remember? We don't do that here. Here we need that source document. What do you think is that? Think about it. To the customer. Let's say I'm selling to them. Or you, let's say you are buying somewhere. They will give you a proof that you So now I'm selling to the customers on credit. So what do you think I must give them to show that I sold to them on credit. Because auditors, when they come, they will need to see that proof of transaction. Um, uh, credit, invoice. credit invoice. Can you see? Thank you so much, Miriam. You're on fire. <laughs> yes. So I'm going to have the credit invoice. I'm going to write credit invoice here. Can you see now? Remember, sometimes they can give you an invoice number. In this case, I, I didn't give you the invoice number. So if they give you the invoice number, I'm telling you it's going to be easy. You must check the test or exam. Because that invoice number, sometimes they write I and V. Can you see now? By seeing the I and V as an invoice number, you can see that this is an invoice. Can you see now? But here I didn't give you the invoice numbers because I don't want you. I want you to just know which source document must you issue. So if they give you the source document, uh, the invoice number, for example, I and V1, I was supposed to say in brackets, um, 
I N V one. You see, that's how we write it. So you must not only write credit invoice, you must also write the invoice number if they gave it to you. But if they did not give you the invoice number, you need to write only credit invoice. What's the meaning? Why is it they gave you that invoice number? Yes. I can just write the invoice number instead of writing the invoice. They will give you half a mark. That's how they do it. Can you see? When we mark, yes, we are correct. But when we mark, because they are testing your knowledge, they will give you half a mark for them. You're going to lose half mark. So the whole thing is one mark. You give me that INV one. What am I going to do? I'm going to give you a half for that. You're going to lose marks for what? For credit in ways. Yes, in practical environment, let's say you have got your own bookkeeping services. You can just put that invoice number. It's okay. But for lesson purposes, because they want, they want to check your understanding, you need to write the credit invoice. Can you see now? That's how we do that for all the source documents. But if they did not give you the invoice number, just write credit invoice. Are we together, guys? No problem. Now, there's a folio column. I'm going to be very slow on this, guys, so that you can know what to do. Uh, we're talking about the many columns for folios. Under general, general, you know, under general, we've got folios. You must know what to write. Here, it's like you have to ask yourself if you sold goods on credit, when we talk about the subsidiary regionals, do you still remember the subsidiary regionals? Guess, just guess. Seven. seven. Okay. Who supports potential? So you said seven. Nine. Who supports uh, Miriam, please? Do we have nine subsidiary journals? Do you remember we went through them? Yeah, it's nine. There are eight. eight. Yes. <laughs> CBR, CBP, CJ, CAJ, DJ, DAJ, PCJ, GJ. Are you impressed the way I did that? <laughs> so, but don't worry, obviously, when you go through the transactions, you'll get used to it. So, you must ask yourself let's say, for example, they wanted me to record in the subsidiary regionals. Where do we record this kind of transactions where I sold goods on credit? Which journal is that? Think about it. We sold on credit. So if you can know to whom, if you sell on credit, what are those people? It will give you the general itself. Do you sell to creditors? No. So give me the general. Yeah. Ah, you say debtors, now you say CBI. It must have a D, because you said debtors. DJ, ah. <laughs> it's okay, it's a lesson. Don't worry. It's going to be what? DJ. Can you see now? So we record sales. Please write your own notes now. Can you see how this thing helps? I gave you my own notes, but you must write your own notes. You repeat yourself. You get used to it. So every time you sell goods on credit, write DJ. It will never change. Only when you sell goods on credit. I'm telling you, your own handwriting makes sense. So now you know, when I sell goods on credit, I will always go to the DJ. Because that is a mark. I'm telling you, you will see by the time when I mark. I will mark that column for dj where i wrote dj i'm gonna mark that everything counts i like this one and you can score marks because it doesn't mean that if let's say one of the things is wrong there it doesn't mean that you lose all the marks you only lose that one that's why i like this one can you see easy like vc as you can see any questions this is like a statement you know sometimes when university college sends you a statement a statement looks like this just check the columns for that statement. It shows, okay, if they build you, it will show under debit. If you paid your account, it will show under credit. And it will show you a new balance. This is the statement. That's all we say is for individuals. It's for Kelly now. I can open the one for Sylvester. Can you see? Yes. Now, remember account equation? Debtors control? What are they to us? According to the groups. Remember, we've got five groups. Eh? We've got assets, owner's equities, liabilities incomes and expenses where do debtors control fall hmm? it's an asset so where do assets increase i said it's a good thing i own it's mine it's mine i send render the service that's mine that's why i can claim back from you i can say pay me that is my money. Can you see that? So debtors, they have got something that belongs to me. 
Remember, I can only say I, you are my debtor after I offer the service. Can you see that? So it's not all about having cash already. What belongs to me, whether you have it with you now, is still mine. That's how we say debtors are what? Assets. To be specific, current assets. Now I'm busy marking now. Eh? Sometimes I smile, sometimes I'm sad. When I mark, eh? I'm, I'm, I'm almost, for your group, I finished, I think so. But I'm going to release marks at the same time. Okay, I'm waiting for that. I'm going to finish the other groups today. But I'm impressed overall. But you can oh, see the no. difference between those who don't attend or have sessions online and those who oh, attend. No. Yeah? Oh, no. I, I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember. But I think overall, yeah? everyone did well. But they should have done better. For me, 60% is, is, is a fail. No? Oh, ah, come, no. ah, come on, it's a fail. I think average can be something around 70, but I'm still going to check that. Okay. Because of those who got 50s and 60s. Okay. And nothing. Okay. Yeah, there are people who just uh, submit the... I don't know whether it's a mistake or not. <laughs> they submit a blank page or a blank answer book. Okay. You must double check. You must double check, ne? Okay. This thing of last minutes, guys. I told you one day before. <laughs> we will wait till the 20, 23, 23, 59. That's a risk. A risk, yes. But it happens, you know. You always have that energy at the end. Yeah? You want to sprint. Mm, you know, but it's okay. We are learning from our mistakes, okay? But I think if you if you submit by mistake, I think, and you launch a, 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 a let's say, query via VC assist, maybe they can give you what? An opportunity. So you must double check, ne? immediately because sometimes i can see your paper when i mark and you submitted four days ago can you see now so immediately just check you can check for this one no for this one no i think you must apply for that you must apply last semester you had yeah again it's just no again they can question that again before if you do the research because it will show from my side and say it's a resubmission so I know about the students who are allowed to do that. They didn't have that option. I know about the first semester. I'm not sure about now. But uh, it's OK. As long as I can get it online, I'll mark it. <laughs> but emailing it, they don't accept it, OK? Because some people say, hey, can I email? OK, for ice task, maybe. But they say they don't count anymore. I don't know. Now that process are open, and let's say we give some ice tasks one day, we see the next day. You can email my brother for your convenience. Email or Some yes, it doesn't matter. Either way, I will do. I'll, I'll mark it for you. Even though it doesn't count at the moment, it it helps for for practice. Can you see? Yes, yeah, just check your pacer. According yeah. to the pacer, there's no ice. No? So we don't need to do ice. I was asking them. I said, guys, for accounting, why don't we have ice task? I want to have ice task. So, but it's still okay. We can still use it. Yeah, test one, test two, exam. <laughs> but we'll see. Uh, we'll see. But I don't think that they will change now. Double check your pacer. Eh? Maybe my pacer is wrong. Yes, yeah, correct. So don't worry. It's okay. Yeah. But then, you know that if you don't have ISTAS and then some people wait till they write exam and they start practicing. <laughs> I don't like that. I like the fact that when we did the first, you know, the one that I gave you, ne? Yeah. you know, I, I I thought it was county, so everyone likes admitted. Yeah. So you, now, ah, you see. Unless if I call them and say, okay, I want to talk to them uh, to, to, to mom. <laughs> yeah, I want you to do it. So, but yeah, any questions, guys, so far? Remember, we're still here. Um, okay, uh, sorry, I just saw uh, some. Thank you so much, Kudron. Oh, Kudron. No? Uh, Pindil, I think you, are, you understand why we say DJ now. Yes, I will still mark them. I marked some. Some of you got the marks. Hey, you have too many, by, by the way. So that's why I, my tests now are the priority. I mark tests first, and I can still mark I tests there after. Okay. Okay, now let's go back to the second of. Uh, okay, uh, there are messages coming, so don't worry. So now, this 5,000, okay, I was asking about where do we, in, okay, debtors, we said they are what? What are they? We said they are assets. So where do they increase, where do they decrease? They increase on that? So if I was writing exam, I'm just going to do something like this. Sorry, guys, hey, I don't have a, a ruler here. You know? And then I'm 
put something like it, it will help me so when i saw to kelly what do you expect kelly's account to do will the account for kelly increase or decrease i'm selling to kelly on credit it will increase because i'm selling to kelly he's my customer on credit i'm not talking about the money i'm talking about if i sell to kelly will kelly owe me less or more that's why I say we will increase Kelly's account. I'm not talking about the money. Remember, the money is, I'm going to receive the money time she pays me. She's not paying me now. So, but when she pays me, obviously, bank will be involved. Now I'm talking about selling to Kelly. The more I sell to Kelly on credit, the more Kelly's account will increase. Does that make sense? So that will help me to know under which side my side I got 5,000. Under which side my side I got 5,000. Thank you, Kalinji. On the debit side. Thank you so much, Ifen. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you so much. Can you see 5,000 like that? So this is very practical. It's like the way you, at home, if you are running your own business, you will do something like this. Not knowing that you are doing this account, OK? Yes. And the signs are not important. No, here the signs are not important. I'm just doing it for you so that you can understand. This is where I increase. This is where I decrease. You don't have to put the signs. The signs are only under what? Accounting? equation and you know, it's, a, it's a good question because i can see some students sometimes they put plus 500 but i won't penalize you yeah you gave me more eh? <laughs> but you misused your ink can you see now so now how much is the balance for kelly how much Twenty-five thousand. can you see easy like that Meaning from the balance, let's say for example, you see we have 20,000, 20, now we have 25. Yes. If we're supposed to use like add something else, you're going to add to that 25,000. Yeah, every, every time we must find a new balance. So if I can ask you, how much does Kelly owes you on the second? How much does he owe you? 25,000. Because initially at the beginning, she was owing how much? Yes, it's like you owe university college. Let's say you didn't pay school fees from the previous year. We come to this year. You owe them 50,000. They say you can come. Now they bill you 50,000. How much is it now? Hundred thousand, just like that. Okay. Now let's say Kelly, for some reasons. Uh, thank you, Kelly, for allowing me to use your name. Uh, let's say for some reasons, Kelly returned some of the goods back to us. I'm gonna write it on the third. Maybe she was not happy with the the goods we sold to her because you know the shoes that we sold to her maybe they are not of the same size. You know, so Kelly returns. Let me write it down. Kelly returns goods worth 2,000. So Kelly returned goods for 2,000. So we need to go and record so that we can affect Kelly's account. It's like you, for example, if you cancel your, let's say you cancel, you don't want to come back. You know that sometimes they can give you that they can take some of the money, but they can cancel some of it if you cancel on time. So on the third, I'm going to come here on the third. Thank you, Kelly. <laughs> on the third, September 2020. Can you see how easy is that? Now, the challenge is which source document? Remember, I know we talked about this source document some time ago, but you know, sometimes we must challenge ourselves. You can still look at this after this after this session. So which such document do you think we need to give Kelly if we allowed Kelly to return goods back to us? I remember I told you one day, when you see the returns, you must always think about this such document. So what do you think will be the such document? Because I can't say invoice. I'm not selling. Um, uh, Pindile said debtors allowances. Uh, MJ said DAJ. Okay, MJ, the DAJ will be the four. Uh, I'm going to put what they gave me for now. Ne? So you are correct. I'm going to write DAJ under, under for you. Ne? You are correct. So what is the source document for DAJ? Pindile, you are okay with the account. The account is data allowances. But here, remember, we have to put the source document, the, the proof that we have to issue. Credit note, thank you so much, Miriam. Thank you very much. It's a credit note. Okay. 
credit note if they gave you a credit note number for example let's say they said uh, cn5 so this huh? for the details yeah that's the only way like the credit note the credit note so please write it down for your own notes credit note is associated with the returns it doesn't matter whether you uh, the debtor returns or the creditor you are returning back to the creditor so if you see the returns by the customers or the creditors you always have credit notes yes yes and you, are you going to tell us if it's a credit note? No, we're just going to give us CN5. So sometimes they like it, they'll just give you CN. At least so you can have yeah. it. It triggers the mind. Can you see now? Yeah. But sometimes they don't give you, they just want you to count it. So then what's going to happen to what? If they don't give us credit note or CN5? Yes. What are those marks if I just write credit note without writing the code? No, no, no. You can't write it because they didn't give it to you. Yes. But I'm telling you, I'm not sure about your exam. Just go and check. I think they gave you the source okay. document. You can be lucky. Because already CN, okay. INV invoice. Yeah. REC receipt. You know, you, you have got answers already. But I'm just trying to show you, like, I want you to know it like that. Okay. Now, when Kelly returns goods worth 20,000, uh, it's 2,000. Eh? What do you expect? What do, do you think will uh, the account for Kelly? How are we going to affect it? Are we going to increase the account or decrease? Because she's going to uh, owe us out less. Ne? Under which side? Credit side. I'm going to put how much? 2,000. Thank you so much, Kukan. Thank you so much. Uh, Kalin, yes, these exams, I think they can be on uh, here on the campus because of this level one thing. If the level one can, they can say level one. I think everyone is going to come. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but hopefully, we'll negotiate, guys. Maybe for this semester, they'll just say submit online. I don't know. But you know, your voices are, can be heard. Okay. So I'm just saying for me. <laughs> yeah. But you know, yeah, let's hope for. But I think online is still okay. Yeah. What is the new balance? 23,000. Thank you very much, Kent. Ah, uh, this thing I enjoy this. I'm, I'm telling you, I do understand this. I do understand this. Guys, let me must tell me because you need to take breaks. Eh? I think we're gonna take a break at uh, nine, unless you can survive for full two hours. Yo, today for. No, no, we do have what we have to. If I cover everything, I'm, I know I'm gonna cover everything in two hours. So we can use the other two hours to <laughs> to go to the library. <laughs> okay, no problem. But at nine, guys, we're gonna take a break and then come back because I want us to cover both data and. But I'm telling you, if you master the data, ne, the data will be the complete opposite of what creditor. The only difference is that this plus, as you can see here on the debit, will shift to credit, and the minus will shift to what same way of recording. So I want us to master this, and then when you go to the creditors, same thing, but we increase on the different sides. Same format, the columns are the same. Okay, now, let's say, for example, guys, uh, Kelly, you know, from her good heart, you know, Kelly, thank you very much for having a good heart. Uh, she paid us. Kelly paid uh, uh, 1,000 for what the account and we granted her 200 discounts. You no, know, people who pay, you, you, you need to, you need to give them something, you know that? So, like here at Rusty College, let's say you owe them 150,000. They say, please, if you pay 149,000, I'm going to give you 1,000 back. Eh, take advantage of the discount. Okay, now. Sorry, guys. Uh, remember, guys, this is just a rough work. Don't, don't worry. But what I'm going to show you the after is going to be the same. Okay. Now, so the date is the fourth. Kelly paid us how much? 1,000. And we granted her. 200. So what I, uh, I, 
If you see the word paid, can you see that? It means already we received 1,000 and already we gave what? 200. Because in a business, we don't receive money, you don't pay us cash and we say, here is the discount. No, no, no. We say, okay, this is what you are supposed to pay. So the discount is this much. So whatever you paid me is after deducting what? The discount. So in this case, it means she was supposed to pay 1,200. So I gave her what? Discount of 200, she gave me how much? 1,000. It would be different if I set an account of 1,000. So it means I was supposed to still minus what? 200. The fact that she paid 1,000, it means I gave her 200 already. So we have got 1,000, she was supposed to pay 1,200. Does that make sense? So the word paid makes the difference. You pay, can you see? 1,000 instead of what? 1,200. But doesn't matter for now, let me just explain. So we have got two things to record here. A, a thousand and what? 200. So you cannot mix them together because they go to the same book. Okay? So, but the date is the fourth. Okay. Who can tell me? What is the source document if a debtor pays you? You are receiving cash. Huh? Receiving? Okay, you gave me CBR. I agree with you. I'm receiving. I'm going to put CBR under folio because I'm receiving cash. But what about the source document? Look at that CBR. You're going to find it. A receipt. Thank you so much, Kutlano. A cash receipt. So I'm going to put a receipt like this. Okay. Not only good runners, thank you everyone. Because sometimes when I say thank you, that's why are you saying only <laughs> receipt? But if they give me the receipt number, guys, for example, they will say REC3. I'm just giving an example, but here we don't have receipt numbers, okay? Always put them in brackets. I'm just trying to prove a point there. So these things, guys, they mark them one by one, okay? So she paid 1,000. Remember, for now we are dealing with the 1,000, okay? So if Kelly pays 1,000, what is the impact? Will I increase or decrease? If so, under which side? Decreasing. So under which side, my side, I go, thank you. On there? Yes. Thank you so much, Ifan. And then on the credit side, it's going to be a thousand. Remember, I deal with the payment first. The balance is? Increase it? 22,000. Thank you so much. Let's see, just like that. It's okay. <laughs> I know it's not splurry a bit. Now, remember, we still have a discount that we must consider because if you cannot consider that discount, his balance still include that 200. So, still on the same day. I'm going to write it, even though you don't write it, I will understand because it happens on the same day. Okay, the question is. What is the document for this one, for this count? Remember, you can, if you don't understand the source documents, you can either write under folio first, because the folio will give you the source document. Let's first talk about the folio. Which journal do we think we're going to record the discount granted? Remember, there are how many journals? Eight, like you said. So out of eight, where do, where do you think we're going to record this? Yifan gave me the answer there. Thank you, Yifan. You are correct. General, general. Okay. Because if you think about it, you cannot take it to the CBR. You cannot take it anywhere. The only uh, option is what? GJ. Remember, GJ is the one where you record transactions which cannot be recorded in the other journals. So you must check whether you can go to the CBR. So you cannot record, write it down. These are the special cases. But if you, even if you can check my notes, eh? Under GJ, I gave you the type of transactions that you can record in the GJ. Okay, you can go and refer. But even now, you can have your own notes. Just write the GJ items. I don't know how you're going to put it. The first one is discount granted. Discount granted to customers will always be in the GJ. Can you see that? And then the minute you see the GJ, I'm telling you, you must know the source document for GJ. We talked about this before. What is the source document for GJ? about it 
Is it the invoice? No, I'm not selling on credit now. Is it the receipt? No, I'm not receiving cash. So, what is that? What is the source? General? General. Please try. Okay, this one I can give it to you, but you're going to remember it when I put it for you there. I don't know if you've never seen this before. Have you seen this before? Okay, no problem. Can you see now? So, guys, what I want you to do, do, just make sure that you know that for this journal, this is the source document. You, they will never change. For So, the general voucher is always the source document for GJ. Any questions, guys? Now, who can tell me? What impact will this discount have on the account for Kelly? Will it increase Kelly's account or decrease Kelly's account? You gave Kelly discount. Decrease. Because if I give her a discount, it means her account will decrease. So under which side must I record that 200? On the credit side. Can you see now? Just like that. How much is the new balance? 21? Perfect. Thank you so much. Very easy. So you can't guess here. You can't say, okay, I've been under this side for some time. You need to understand the impact. It's like account equation, this thing. You must know where the account increases and where account decreases. Remember, I was repeating myself at account equation like nobody's business. Even under general ledger, I always insist, classify the accounts. Tell me whether they're increasing or not. Under which side? Okay, not bad. So far, so good. <laughs> Basics are very much. No, no, it's a process. But remember, if you see this, when you go and sit down, can you see now? Even if you go to the book, I'm telling you, the book, ne? it's good, it's thick, <laughs> it's good. I'm telling you, if you don't have the basic, even the book doesn't make sense. There's some students, like I remember, I used to have students before, even at the end of the semester, the book is still in that plastic. <laughs> Because they don't see the ah, distinction because they understood uh, what a man of my caliber was saying. And I'm not saying that, my brother. So I'm just saying it's good for you to be at home. But sometimes, let's say, due to other unforeseen circumstances, you don't have a book and you use our way of doing things. I'm telling you, I know I've been around. I'm the non current asset for Varsity College. Eh? I've been here for years. Eh? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, some people find them useful. Can you see now? Because the book, you know, the book sometimes you can go, but like especially with the markups, you know, the way I explain them, I explain it differently from the book. So you can check the way I explain and you can also compare with the book, okay? And take which one is the best for you. But my students always take what I So I always try to improve every time, yes. Is there a possibility that the eight folios, right? Do you, could you print out the notes that has uh printing is gonna be a challenge but i i did upload them on vc oh, under the more resources ne? i've got all the slides oh, from the unit yeah. number one okay but i'll see if i can but it's gonna be a so, challenge uh, no problem thanks my okay. thank you yes okay let me just give you the last one and you take a break ne? you know things happen and then kelly all of a sudden you know COVID situation kelly's owing me twenty one thousand eight hundred and Kelly is not working anymore. Kelly, I know you are working. Uh, okay, you know, sometimes if someone has been paying, you know, we can say, okay, Kelly, man, you have been a good customer for almost 10 years. Don't worry about the 21,800. I will write it off. Eh? I'm going to put this transition down. So we wrote off Kelly's account on the 20th. Eh? Yeah. Because she's not working and then she's been a good person. But for now, you know, you know, it's all about the relationship, my brother. Okay, because Kelly, I can see that they are against that. Let's say Kelly, you just say we write off 1,000 for Kelly, you know. Let's wrote, <laughs> we wrote off. <laughs> okay, they want to take your assets. Okay, uh, wrote off Kelly's <laughs> Kelly's Count. S 
irrecoverable. Ah, no, sorry, Kelly. Uh, you have been a good pair. I'm going to write a uh, write off the whole amount. Right. Yes, I'm writing off Kelly Summer. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm writing off the whole amount. So now I need to go and record to show that Kelly doesn't owe me anymore. Okay? Because when you write off, it means you don't owe me anymore. So the date is the 20th. I'm going to say the 20th. The 20th of September, 2020. Okay, when I write off, I need to have the source document also. But because maybe we're not sure about it, so let's go to the folio first. What do you think will be the general place? Think about it carefully when writing off a debt. You are not selling on credit. You only go to the data's, uh, data's general. No, data's control is not a source document. Remember, we only need the proofs. Is an account. Cash book receipts, cash book payments, creditors general, creditors allowances general, debtors general, debtors allowances general, petty cash general, general general. The first two I received cash and I paid cash. It can't be. Here I wrote off some. Huh? What? I think oh, sorry, Ifan. Sorry, I didn't see. Ah, Ifan, you are correct. Sorry, I didn't see that, Ifan. Sorry. Uh, I think I need to have a, something that can make it uh, like tick, tick, so that I can see that someone is giving me. So you are correct, Ifan. <laughs> Thank you so much. Because you can't record it anywhere in those other journals. Oh. CBR no, CBP no, DJ no, DAJ no, CJ no, CJ no, PCJ no. Yeah, but if I check according to my rules, which book can I go and record that because I'm losing money? Where, which book I used to record things that I lost? I can't go to the CBR, I'm not receiving cash. That's why the only option is what? G. Because it can't go anywhere. Can you see now? Thank you, Ifan, once again. Uh, general voucher, because it's going to go to, uh, let's say it was day V7. Okay, obviously the general is going to be what? GJ, perfect. Remember, we're writing off. With what impact are we going to have on the account? Increase the account or decrease the account? Under which side? How much? Ah, Kelly doesn't owe us anymore. How much is the new balance? Ah, perfect. As you can see. You see, just deal with the transitions as they come. I'm telling you, this account is what you do at home. Let's say you have got your own small business at home. This is what you normally do. But because here we call it accounting, it becomes different. I think they must call it Sylvester. It will be simple, eh? Because, you know, I'm a simple guy. So, this is what the, I want you to understand. I'm telling you, when we take an exercise, you're going to see what's going on. Remember, if you're a VET vendor, the amounts that you are going to put here must include VET. Let's say, for example, they said one of them is not including VET. You include what? Because the customer must owe you VET plus whatever belongs to you where applicable. Okay. Any, any question, guys? Let me see yes or no on the chat if you understand. Please let me see yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. Uh, so that we can take a break. And then after taking a break, and then I'm going to take an exercise. Thank you so much, Janelle. Uh, I'm going to take an exercise. Thank you, Kutrano. Thank you, Pindile. Thank you, Kalindi. Thank you, friend. So now I'm going to fix my volume here because this volume must just say, tit, tit. Okay, please, someone can try. Can you try to use the audio? I want to see if I. I can hear you. Anyone who can use the audio for us, just say hi to us, please. Anyone who can say hi to us, Yabonga, how are you? <laughs> Yifan, how are you? Please use the audio. Pindile. I just want to test my, uh, my, my speakers, please. Oh, ah, uh, guys, come on, you can't be on strike. Who can help me? I don't know. 
if you see people keep quiet next time i'll keep quiet when i lecture just keep quiet okay <laughs> okay guys let's take a break how many minutes do you think is enough guys for us uh, just to say so that you can know at what time we're going to be back 15 15 minutes eh? so I meaning we must be back here by 10 past eight or oh, 10 past nine or oh, 11 past <laughs> nine. okay so yeah i'm uh, please uh, come back and then we'll continue thank you guys take a break <laughs>